I'm going to be talking about how to get output from a Teams adaptive card. Just a little bit of information about myself, about me. I'm a self-taught Power Platform developer and I've been in Power BI for oh, however many years. But I used to actually be a former hairstylist and I turned to IT and I've recently started my own website, which I put a QR code on, on the screen for you guys. So that's a little bit about me. And let's talk about Teams adaptive cards. So for the cards, how I use it is I can use it as both an approval or as an information form. So this actually started when one of my clients asked that they wanted to have one single method of getting information out to the business. So I figured, okay, I can do an approval through a card, that's fine. Because if somebody says yes or no and adds a comment, that's an approval. So what you can do is you can do an approval, an information form, I put in something about free t-shirts and how, how does it actually work? So um, this card gets or gives, uh, gives a certain output. Now, Microsoft was not being nice to me because they actually changed the way that this works. So earlier, about a month ago, you needed to do a parsed JSON to get the output from the Teams card. So the most important thing is that when you're, ma when you're making your card that your ID is recognizable so that you can say approval is uh, your approval, your yes or no, or remarks is your comment field. So how does that actually work? So let me stop this. And there's actually many different ways on making a Teams adaptive card. So what I'm currently showing you now is an ex explanation on how the new on how the new Power Apps Preview works, which is this one. You can do an adaptive card here, but my favorite is using the adaptivecards.io designer. So this website uh, gives you the option to actually choose teams, which theme, and the most important one is which target version. I, I, I've actually found out the hard way that if you select the wrong target version and you uh, have some type of error in your code or you try and use any, any other of the codes, uh, it doesn't work in Teams. It doesn't display the card. So always make sure to do a Microsoft Teams target version 1.4 or newer, and then you're free to actually create your very own card. And it's as easy as just drag and drop, putting in the information. And then this one, the ID, is the most important one that you have to set. So what it actually does is at the bottom here, it gives you the code so you don't have to write this whole code yourself. It's a, it's really easy. So you just copy paste and let me go to my flow. So in here, I've added post adaptive card and wait for a response. So I'm posting as a flow bot and I'm doing it in a chat. And then under message, you just copy paste that whole, that whole code from the site and it's as easy as that. And then make sure under update message and recipient, you add your information. Now, the, the tricky part was under here, under an email, for example, you can do this person has requested these socks. So socks choice is the ID I gave to my choice option for free socks. I mean, who doesn't love free socks? So what this actually does is it sends an email with the output from this adaptive card. However, sometimes with these adaptive cards, uh, the output isn't directly available. So in the past, we had to do a JSON parsing, getting the output from the body from that card, parse, parsing through, through the JSON code, then putting that in a variable or something. Because sometimes within Power Automate, you have different branches or for each or any different uh, condition and then sometimes the output from that is not available. So how I go around that is on the top I add an initialized variable. If I can if I can type correctly initialize and then let's say a variable socks. I want to make sure that it's a string because we are parsing through text and then under my Teams card, I go to append to string variable. And then in here, I want to say my variable for socks. I want to make sure that my socks choice 
is then inside this variable. So what then happens if I have different branches or uh, for or for each or a, a condition or any other area that I can actually use this variable throughout that whole flow and it it doesn't really matter where it is. So then I can, for example, let's say this is a really deep nested uh, email. I can just add my variable socks and there it is. And then that's the output from that adaptive card. And then once somebody gets this within Teams, and I will show you what it looks like. Run the flow. Here it shows within my teams, it shows the card that I've just designed. And I'm gonna say, hey, I like power pages. Hugo's here, I like power pages. Hit submit. And then in my flow, it gets that output and it stores it in my variable socks that I've selected power pages. And then, then you can use that to feed that into your power app or any other uh, thing that that you may want to use it for. So that's about it. And that was my explanation on how to get Power Automate to get the team's uh, output for you. Awesome, Natalie, this is great. If there's questions, we'll look in the chat just uh, in the interest of time and everything. Uh, but an excellent, excellent demo. Thank you for sharing such uh, simplicity and fantasticness uh, and love how you brought everything together, right? It's not just one product or another product, uh, but you're really showing how they work together there. So excellent job. Thank you very, very much.